So the car's almost fully loaded, just got room for another bag or two, but I've got more than a bag or two. I've got like uh, one, two, three, uh, four, 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 four and a half bags. However, I've got an idea. thinking, how do I make this bag smaller? So I thought, well, I'll take all my tin foil, stick it in a big piece of tube like that. A bit more. Get it done. Get it stuck in. And I take a piece of wood and I. Do that. Then I turn it over and I didn't work. This idea didn't work so well. Uh, come back to you. That didn't work. Mark Stone was trying to polish a big brass disc up the other day and he failed and he said, polishing brass disc failed. And I commented, I said, show me a man that has never failed. I'll show you a man that's never tried. So my idea is to compress this loose aluminium tin foil by ramming it down that oh it's got to be 80 milli three inch three and a half inch four inch square tube in and come out with a block of compressed aluminium it didn't work well it worked kind of eh? but it just it, 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 it does felt bits all over the place. Right, I've created myself more work. Time to tidy up and get off to the old anvil yard. That's absolutely fucked. Well, we're here again. We've rocked up at the old anvil yard. We'll just uh, let folks see that we're here. That's all from automatic gates open. I'm afraid we'll have to uh, bypass on all the uh, goodies today. It's uh, a matter of getting straight off loaded. Here we go. Very quiet. Oh, Gary, that was that was noisy. What was that? That was noisy. Oh, everything oh, very quiet at the yard today. So I'm going to help Gary get me brass out. I put it in car on my own and it takes two of us to get rid of it. <laughs> Every scrap here, stop the cat. Oh, brass, beautiful brass. Jeez. <laughs> Look, the sun is going down. I'm actually the last person in the yard today, so uh, let's go home. So there we go. Hopefully, one happy wife. Everything gone. Well, when I say everything, yeah, we've got a little bit still outside, but that, that's another video. Yes, folks, that's another video. That's a speculate to accumulate that went kind of well, but kind of wrong. So, uh, but as I said, that's another video. 
Oh yes, nice and tidy. The shed though, oh I'm afraid that's a whole different ball game. Even though we've got rid of all the aluminium stainless steel radiators, which which is why I've never got any room. Seems I've still got a good way to go. So I suppose uh, what's left is to, uh, what did it weigh? What did it pay? So my first trip uh, was uh, some stainless steel, aluminium, uh, aluminium radiators. Uh, come on, let's focus. I hate you with the passion. So, what did it weigh? What did it pay? Well, I did two trips to the yard. Uh, first trip, I hope we can focus. There we go. Stainless steel, a uh, thousand pound a metric ton. Alloy cuts, 700 pound a metric ton. Very nice. Any alley, 200 pounds a ton. And I believe that that was me, uh, my pop cans and my beer cans all rolled alley 600 pounds a ton we're not going to sniff at that you can't beat that with a stick can you uh lead wash rads 4100 pound a ton all the radiators that i stripped which uh kind of bit of disappointing i got three pound twenty oh my god it's uh just not worth doing aluminium radiators Stainless steel again and cast alley and give us a nice first payday of £253. Then we did a second trip where I took some non ferrous uh, brass and uh, we've got brass and copper windings in. Let's see if we can focus up here. Right, brass 100% clean. £3,250 a tonne, so £3.25 a kilo, 150 kilo, £455, nice. Number two copper, a couple windings off uh, some of the big motors I took in, tads under £5,000 a tonne, uh, pay me a nice £94. Heavy copper, that was like the the, the quarter inch thick windings that I did have off those uh, big transformers and that's got me a very nice sorry we're not focusing very well uh, 5,190 pounds a ton so £5.19 uh, mixed scrap so that, that's just uh, iron at £185 a tonne, giving us a nice total of 689 call that 690 690 with that, 690 890 £940, 900, just under a grand. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. However, However, as much as I've got rid of, I don't seem to have created any space. Uh, tea. Right, so that's Ian in his shed saying you're bidding you a good night. I've been very busy on a big project. And if I can get it edited in time and up, you'll know why I've been... I have not been around so much. Alright, I'll see you in the next one. Take care folks.